David drives a 26-ton, three-axle, flatbed truck fitted with a lorry-mounted crane for a local haulier. He often carries portable buildings, palletized goods, mainly building materials, and metal stillages containing metal goods. He uses the crane to load and offload materials and equipment at his yard and at customer premises. David works any time between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Monday to Friday, and always works between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Saturday. The lorry-mounted crane will require regular inspection. Which of the following statements are true? It will require inspection every year under LOLER. The company David works for uses the standard 17-week reference period for the purposes of the Working Time Directive. What is the maximum average number of hours that can be worked per week? 48. If David needed to take a regular weekly rest this week after finishing at his usual time on Saturday, what is the earliest he could start work again? 10 a.m. on Monday. If David needed to take a reduced weekly rest this week after finishing at his usual time on Saturday, what is the earliest he could start work again? 1 p.m. on Sunday. What of the following is not a sensible precaution that David should take in order to minimize the risk of an accident to other people when offloading at a customer's premises? Sound his horn whenever pedestrians approach. Today David is carrying a portable building which overhangs the rear of the vehicle by 2.5 meters. What does he or his company need to do before driving on a public road? Attach an end marker to the rear of the load. David is aware of the advice given in the Safe Loading of Vehicles document and when securing the load knows what restraints must restrain any sideways forces of up to 50% of the weight of the load. Which of the following are major causes of trucks shedding their loads onto the highway? sudden changes of direction or harsh use of brakes. What is the speed limit for this type of a vehicle on a dual carriageway in England and Wales? 60 miles an hour.